Okay, I am shooting this video because there is a huge lack of content on the VTEC 18 foot flats boat. This boat I was researching and there was very, very little on this boat and I'm gonna show you a little bit about it. It's a little bit windy out, I'm shooting right now, so please forgive me. Hopefully the audio is gonna be better. Now, this is a flats boat, a true flats boat, built out of Miami, uh, Opelika, Florida. Um, the people, I can tell you, the owners of VTech, the, the people that work there, they are amazing, um, first class, very truly genuine good people, and excellent customer service. Now, I bought this boat out of Riverview, Florida at Antoinetti Marine. Um, not sure they're selling them anymore. I would highly suggest, if you're looking into a VTech, to um, hit up Ultimate uh, Marine um, out of Orlando. Um, Hawk is a great guy there to, to contact. Um, it's unbelievable. They take these boats actually to the next level. That was, that's my only uh, regret, I guess, is not buying this boat through them because they, they would have done a lot of the things that I now am trying to do to this boat, like the trailer. This is the only thing I don't like about the boat is this trailer. Um, and it's not the manufacturer. It's just the fact that it's a single axle trailer. I want a tandem axle. Um, I want good vortex uh, hubs because I'm going to be pulling this thing back to Michigan once or twice a year and just traveling all over uh, Florida, uh, hopefully in the future going to Louisiana, things like that, fishing uh, on trips. So let's let's look at the boat. Okay, this is a uh, 18 foot. I think the haul on this thing weighs about 1,200 pounds. Now, the way I have this one configured now, it's with a Mercury Pro XS 200 horsepower uh, V8. So this is a 500 pound motor on here. So you know it's not going to draft as shallow as um, you know this this thing would with a 115 or a 150 on it, uh, for example. So they're they're drafting typically about six to seven inches with a um, I would say with a 115 or a 150, um, and with this one, it's probably going to draft more like 11. But I can tell you, on plane, I mean, I'm running in like three to four inches of water, no problem. Um, even with my three blade, uh, the four blade I have for it um, is definitely a, a little bit quicker out of the hole, but but not much. This thing jumps up, especially with those trim tabs, quickly. Um, so looking at the tower, now I did get this um, fully done by Deckett of Tampa Bay. So you can see here, I've got to deck it um, up here. I also have done a, a complete um, center portion of the boat, including the side gunnels um, with Deckett. And did some custom stuff like a tarpon and Skyway Bridge on that side and a snook and Skyway Bridge on that side. Um, I went with a lighter gray, which, you know, is going to show dirt, but uh, it does wash up pretty darn good. Blood is the only thing that doesn't come out super easy, but a little scrubbing, it, it does. Um, I've got a full JL audio system in this, including the head unit. Um, I have six, six and a half inch speakers and a 10 inch JL audio subwoofer. This thing is beyond loud and when it's cranking, I basically need to keep that open because that acts like a port, like a subwoofer box with it shut. Um, it just, you can tell it, it needs to be open. Uh, so this thing cranks. I love, love the audio. Um, no, zero complaints. Uh, I went with two Simrad Geo9s. So these are two nine inch units um, here. Uh, very good units so far. Um, been very happy. Um, I've got the wrapped wheel from oh, Captain Hunter's Addiction, I believe is, is his name. Um, does a great job. Uh, you know, I mean, this thing is um, is exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I wanted. I also got the uh, paddle style trim switches. So this one is for the jack plate up and down. And then on this side, I've got the trim up and down so it's panel style so you know it kind of reminds me of like my gt500 like a racing style deal that's kind of why i wanted it um, like i said i've got the trim tabs on this unit um, pretty happy with those but i heard there's some automated stuff with ultimate marine that i would love to look into seeing what they have on their boat 
power pole switch. I also did mount a custom one here, um, power pole switch. So when I'm on the pulling platform, I can just reach down and drop those poles. Um, so back here, this is your dry storage. Okay, so this is where I would like, I have a dry bag that has safety gear, prop wrench, all, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is actually a um, can caddy that goes and it mounts perfectly on the pulling platform right there. That's for trash, empties, all that kind of stuff. Highly recommend having one of those if you have a VTEC. They just work good. 28 gallon live well here. LED lit. And here we have another live well. Um, I just kind of like throw my uh, casting nets and stuff like that in here but uh, another nice compartment one thing I would like on these two on both of these actually I would really like to have a pump out so that's something I will be looking for uh, into in the near future of course I had to get rod holders installed um, on this end I only have one rod tube there because of the mounted switch for, for um, charging the batteries. Now, the one thing I did do on that switch was inside of here. Let me open this up. So inside of here, I mounted another uh, battery charger. So there's one here, and I have this here for the two batteries that are back here. Um, I put a splitter in, so I put a NOCO splitter in right there. So I can just plug in one cord to there, and it's going to be charging my outboard charger, which is here, as well as my outboard charger, which is up there. I'll get to that in just a second. Um, okay. Walking up here, I did mount a Yeti here. I also um, had him deck it and, and cover that so I would get good traction. Um, a couple of things I did myself, I did put a uh, power pole uh, up and down foot switch up here. I also utilize this port for this Minn Kota 80 pound thrust Tarova, um, which is a 24 volt system. But I, I did also purchase a pedal for that because I'm a bass guy and when I do use this for bass fishing, you, it's impossible to use the remote. It's just very difficult. So inside of this compartment, you'll see I've got two batteries. So this is the 24 volt system for the trolling motor. This is where I keep my fire extinguisher. And then up here, just, you know, your throwables. Um, the boat bumps, bumpers. And then here is the pedal. I just keep my, the pedal there um, for the Minn Kota. So when I do go bass fishing, I can just take it out there, and put it up here and plug it in. So that's that setup. Um, like I said, I, I did mount this Yeti myself. Um, I love it. It's perfect. I mean, even if, if for standing, it works. If you get tired, you can sit down and, and, you know, if it's the end of the day, you still want to keep casting. It works good for that. And then, of course, as you know, the Yeti's always going to hold your, your lunch and drinks and all that kind of stuff. So Yeti 35 is like the perfect size I found for this application. So I would highly, highly recommend that. Um, I have yet to have any cup holders drilled into my council. <clears throat> I'm still on the fence with that one, whether or not I'm going to do it. Um, most likely I will put uh, three cup holders here with one with an umbrella hole mount in the middle. And then also another thing you'll see a lot on VTEX is cup holders right here. It's cup holders slash rod holders, which is kind of nice. So I may do that in the near future here so we'll see if that'd be five cup holders and you know cup holders are a good thing on boats for sure definitely a, a must have storage wise i'm very happy with it there's tons of storage in here i'm gonna open this up and i bought these little utility dividers these hold at 3700 size tackle box and i've just got a few up here and i also use a similar setup in the back there um you'll see to, so I can just you know store stuff so let me walk in here so if I take this out so basically you know I just keep some extra stuff in here so you know my my 
toadfish, whatever, the cool coolers, when I take the Simrad covers off up here, when I take this JL Audio, um, you know, head unit cover off, I put it down here, wallet, um, stuff like that. So good storage down there, works, works really well. Very happy with it. Now, storage here is there's another huge council storage here, right in front of the council. And again, this one I have um, more of the, that storage here. Nets, um, this will hold, I've got four life jackets in here, but this is a very deep compartment as well. It goes all the way back in there, you can't see now, but um, VTech just does a great job with their storage. Um, their fit and finish is amazing quality of this boat. All the components that they use are, are the highest end uh, you can get. So no complaints. Um, you know, this has, this is pre-rigged with um, LED lights at the transom. And it also has LED lights under here. And these work, uh, they, they work really good. They, you have multiple options with colors. So there's four LED lights in each corner. Um, so, so it's got all, all the goodies. Like I said, the trailer is the next thing here. I'm going to be sitting this on a tandem axle. Um, I just need a better trailer for taking this thing to Michigan and Florida and all over. So that's next. Dual power poles, of course. That's not even an option not to have power poles, right? That's it. Hopefully this helps you a lot. Um, I can tell you that it runs very well. In chop, you know, the trim tab certainly helps if you need to slow down. It does great with rough water, um, the way this is designed, and it runs super shallow. So VTech is, I think, probably one of the top flats boats right now.